Hello guys, a very good evening. So we are going to start another brand new chapter for organic chemistry where we are going to learn about hello alkane. So let's have a look at what we are going to learn in this chapter. So in this chapter, we are going to have a look as usual, nomenclature of hello alkanes, physical properties of hello alkanes, chemical properties of hello alkanes, and industrial application and environmental effects of the hello alkane. So uh, this is actually quite an important chapter because a lot of things may involve a hello alkane reaction. So let's have a look at the introduction, shall we? So an alkyl halide, also known as hello alkane has a halogen atoms bonded to an sp3 hybridized carbon atoms so the carbon halogen bond in an alkyl halide is polarized because the halogen is more electronegative than the carbon therefore the carbon ca uh, the carbons in here bears a partial positive charge whereas the halogen here bears a partial negative charge uh, which makes uh, carbons inside here susceptible to nucleophilic attacks so later we are going to have a look more about uh, nucleophilic reactions inside halal kids so al uh, alkyl halides can be generally classified into three classes. We have primary halalkane, secondary halalkane, and the tertiary halalkane. Uh, depending on the carbons, uh, depending on the number of carbons groups surrounding the carbon bonded halogens. So for halalkanes, uh, primary halalkanes, you have no carbon or one carbon bonded to the uh, carbons with an X. For secondary halalkanes, you have uh, two carbons surrounding the carbon bonded to X, and for tertiary halalkane, you have uh, three carbons uh, bonded to carbons with X. So halogen atomic size increase as going down to the periodic tables. So fluorine atom has the smallest, while iodine atom has the largest. So consequently, the halo carbon halogen bond length increase, and this will cause the uh, bond strength to decrease when going down to group 17. And as for the weak vanderbilt forces face for the four methyl halide. With a ball and stick model, illustrate that CX bond length and halogen atom box size uh, as one progresses from fluorine to iodine substitution. So, more reactions we're going to have a look later. So, let's have a look at the systematic IUPAC naming for the halalkanes, where uh, we're going to treat these uh, halogens like a normal substituent. A uh, fluorine substituent name is fluoro, chlorine substituent name is chloro. Uh, Bromine substituent name is bromo and iodine substituent name is iodo. So the result of the systematic haloalkane names will go as follow. So as I mentioned just now, so it just simply treats any halogens like any uh, substituent inside an alkyl chain, uh, alkane chain. So you have a uh, CH3 CL name as chloromethane, CH3 CH2F called as fluoroethane. Now if you have the formula of C3H7Br, so you may have two isomer, and you have a one bromopropane where the bromo is located at C1 and uh, two bromopropane where the bromo is located at the C2. Okay, and if you have C4H9I, uh, you might want to have four isomer, namely one iodobutane, two iodobutane, uh, one iodo two methylpropane, and two iodo two methylpropane. Uh, just on the classifications in here, you can see that one iodobutane is a primary haloalkane, while two iodobutane is a secondary haloalkane. Uh, one iodo two methylpropane is also a primary haloalkane, and two iodo two methylpropane is a tertiary haloalkane. Okay, so uh, here are the step-by-step -step ways of how we name haloalkanes. So find the parent chain of the molecule, one in the greatest number of the carbon, and name the parent chain accordingly to the number of carbon. Uh, identify the substituent in the parent chain. So in this chapter, the substituent are LQ and also uh, halogens. So if there are more than one type of substituent, the name uh, Arrange based according to alphabetical order, and if you have two or more substituents, a prefix is placed according to the number. So two prefix di, three prefix tri, four same prefix tetra, five same prefix is penta, six same prefix is hexa, and place the number of substituents based on the position. So usually a smallest number of carbon is preferred, as always. So um, this is how we are going to basically name um, uh, this uh, what. Uh, Hello, okay. So we are going to continue next. Mm. Okay. Uh. Oh man. Okay, so you're going to see an examples, a few examples in here. Okay, so if you have the longest parent chain in here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the longest chain. So you have a uh, methyl, methyl, ethyl. We have a chloro chloro. So if you uh, read from here, the full name will be three three dichloro four ethyl four five dimethyl heptane. And then uh, in here you have you find the longest carbon which is here. So this is the longest carbon. 
okay so there you have this is a uh, ethyl ethyl bromo and methyl so if you read from the numbering from here to here you'll find out that uh, sorry from here to here you'll find out that uh the carbon will be the smallest for two bromo three for the ethyl three methyl heptane so if you have a structure looking like this longest parent will be this one so this will be longest so you have a uh, 1 methyl, 2 methyl, 3 methyl, chloro, chloro. So you have uh, 3, 4 dichloro, 2, 2, 4 trimethyl hexane. And then uh, this is a straight chain. You can go to a straight chain in here. So you have a methyl, methyl, ethyl, ethyl. So you have a diethyl, uh, diethyl, iodo, methyl. Yeah? So 4, 4 diethyl, 3 iodo, 2, 2 dimethyl hexane. So in here you have the longest carbon in here is uh, 8. <coughs> okay, if you look carefully. This is 8 carbon, so you have 2 chloro, 4 5 diethyl, 2 3 dimethyl octane, and in here, this is the longest carbon that we can have in here if you look carefully. So, um, based on here, you have uh, 3 4 dibromo, 4 ethyl, 5 methyl heptane, and uh, how to draw 1 2 dichloro, 3 ethyl, 2 3 dimethyl hexane. So, this is probably how we're going to draw, and 1 bromo, 3 chloro, 2 2 3 trimethyl butane. Though, this is more or less of how you're going to draw. So um, hopefully you'll be able to understand through the step-by-step -step naming of how to name all this. So uh, if, uh, we have more times I'll go through with you slowly on this one. Yeah. Okay, finishing this one, we go to isomerism of haloalkanes. So um, due to the presence of the halogens, uh, haloalkane is exhibited constitutional as stereo isomerism, specifically uh, optical isomerism. Now, if we uh, browse back of the previous slide, Okay, uh, inside the C4, so one of them already exhibit an optical isomerism, which is a uh, two iodo butane. So in here, you already exhibited an optical isomerism. In another word, for um, a hello, uh, halo to exhibit optical isomerism, uh, the minimum number of carbon is four. So this is the optical chiral carbon atom. You can exhibit optical isomerism. Now, if you have for five, okay, uh, five isomers, uh, which is a uh, C5H11. Cl, so which uh, contain of eight constitutional isomer. So you have a few which is optical active. So this is a chiral carbon atom. Uh, you might also want to have uh, this one too, chiral carbon atom. And last but not least, this one is also a chiral carbon atom. So you have three chiral carbon atom, which all of them can be drawn accordingly. So this is how you are going to draw this. Uh, optical pair of isomerism for 2 chloropentane, 1 chloro 2 methyl butane and 2 chloro 3 methyl butane. Okay, so finishing this, uh, that is all for the optical isomerism. And immediately we go to the physical properties of haloalkane. So, um, boiling point of the haloalkane, so the trending of the boiling point of haloalkane may be caused by many factors. First is the factors of number of carbons, that means in another word going down to homologous series. So when, when going down to homologous series, boiling point increase as usual. Why? Because when going down to homologous series, the boiling point increase due to the molecular mass increase, which increase the strength of the weak band wall forces, causing the boiling point to increase. Uh, and then the factors of the total surface area, so you can see that the boiling point increase. So as a usual, straight chain molecule has a larger total surface area compared to a branch chain molecule. So greater total surface area, greater the weak band wall forces, higher the boiling point. And then uh, we are going to have a look at the factors of different halogens used. If you have chlorine, uh, chloropropane, bromopropane, and iodopropane, so boiling point increase. Why? Similar reason due to the molecular mass. So in going to the halogen group, molecular mass increase cause a greater weak band wall forces, which eventually result in a higher boiling point. Okay, so that is all for how you differ between the boiling points. The next we are going to have a look at solubility of haloalkane. So in solubility of haloalkane, even though the CX bond in here is polar, haloalkanes are insoluble in water because they, they are not able to form hydrogen bond with water. So uh, though it is uh, soluble in most of the organic solvent, so in terms of uh, solubility trend, okay, so uh, solubility decrease as the number of chlorine increase. So when there is more substituent group of Cl molecule become less polar, Polar, uh, as a result, polarity decreases and causes the solubility to decrease. Okay, okay, so that will be all for the physical properties, and I think I'm going to stop for my first video. So hopefully you all be able to enjoy. Okay, see you around later.